speak of Eric Anfinson is to speak of art. Art as an animating force, art as life's blood. Eric Anfinson's new impassioned body of work is dangerous, graceful, introspective. There's uh, something beautiful about watching something develop and being a little bit more patient with it. Um, my work before was much faster. Um, I felt like I was, you know, when I was painting in, in, in public, I felt like, ah, I got to keep the speed, keep the speed, keep the speed, uh, because I didn't want to stay vulnerable that long. I didn't want my work to be unfinished in people's eyes for too long a period. And now in my, in my home, in a home space where, where very few eyes are actually on it, except for my own, I can see things develop that I couldn't see before because I took more time with it. Eric's inner world finds its way onto canvas. Much of what comes through his paintings are darker, more ambiguous realms that bleed into his compositions and figures. There's perfection in our flaws. It's just it's astounding. That's the other thing as an artist that I'm, I'm the, the older I get, the more I'm, I'm loving flaws. I mean, there's, there's, or what we consider flaws. You know. Paintings are coming out one at a time, but yet at the same time I see an entire body of work. And uh, so it feels like time is precious at this point. And uh, I would much rather be painting than doing much, much of anything else. Through his art, we bear witness to Eric as he gives birth to both himself and the divine. Anfinson's evocative work is unencumbered and symbolic. Mythical elements bring Eric's insides to the surface. Each piece reveals a transformed life, the life of an artist.